Hi everybody. I shall get soft drinks for all of you. Bobby, can I have some ice? Sorry, Gobby failed to pull ice tray out of refrigerator. Call to Maya and Bayu for help. Maya, Bayu. Yes, kids. What's your wish? We needed the ice from the refrigerator. That's all. So here is the ice. Kids, do you know how ice is formed? Yes, ice is made up of water. Correct. How can we find out? Let's see how. To determine three different states of water. Requirements: two ice cubes, zip top, sandwich bag, microwave, safe dish, microwave oven. Procedure: Put the ice cubes in the sandwich bag. And then seal it. Place the bag on a microwave safe dish and set it in the microwave. Turn the microwave on at full power for one minute and watch as the ice cubes melt and become liquid. You may have to run it for an additional 30 seconds to melt all the ice. Now run the microwave for another 30 seconds. What happens to the bag? Let the bag cool completely before removing it from the microwave. Conclusion All matter is made up of tiny units called molecules. Matter can take three different forms, solid, liquid or gas. When a substance is in its solid state, the molecules are slow moving and packed closely together. Ice is a solid state of water. In this experiment, you add energy by heating the ice in the microwave. The molecules begin to move faster and further apart until the water reaches a liquid state. When you continue to heat the liquid, the molecules move even faster and further apart to become water vapor, which is a gas. The expanding water vapor causes the bag to pop up. In. Now let's study some properties of matter. 
requirements. Two cups uncooked rice, quart jar with liquid, large marble or ping pong ball. Procedure. Place the marble or ping pong ball on top of the rice. Fasten the lid onto the jar and then turn the jar over. Using one hand, shake the jar hard from side to side. The marble or ball will rise to the surface. Conclusion The rice may fill part of the jar, but something else is between each grain. Empty space. When you shake the jar, the rice grains tumble over each other, filling in the empty spaces. The marble or ball is too big to fill in any of these spaces, so it moves upward. This experiment demonstrates a property of matter. No two objects can occupy the same place at the same time. In. Kids, have you ever taken a sip of soda and felt tickle at the end of your nose? Yes, I have. That's caused by tiny bubbles of carbon dioxide, a gas which gives soda its fizz. Requirements Glass paint jar Unopened bottle of club soda 10 raisins Procedure Fill the jar with club soda. Add the raisins one at a time to the club soda and watch what happens. The raisins will rise, then fall, then eventually rise again. Conclusion Club soda fizzes because it is filled with carbon dioxide gas. The gas bubbles rise because they are lighter than the liquid they are in. In this experiment, the bubbles cling to the raisins and carry them to the surface. The bubbles break, the raisins sink, until new bubbles attach to the raisin and carry them up again. In. I can make a coin jump without touching it. Isn't it magic? Requirements 2 liters soda bottle with no cap. Freezer. Quarter water. Procedure Put the empty, open soda bottle in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Dip that quarter in water. Take the bottle out of the freezer and set it on a flat surface in a sunny spot. Quickly cover the open mouth of the bottle with the wet coin. The coin will soon start to tap up and down. As long as the coin is centered over the opening of the bottle, the tapping will continue. Conclusion It is due to the effect of gas expansion. Kids, we can make matter disappear right before your eyes. Requirements 1 fourth cups water at room temperature. Glass paint jar. Marking pen. Masking tape. Spoon. 1 fourth cup sugar. Procedure Pour 1 fourth cup water into the jar. Draw a line to mark the water level and label it one fourth. If your pen won't work on glass, write on a piece of masking tape and put it on the jar at the right water level. Add another one fourth cup water and mark it half. Add one more one fourth cup water and label it three fourth. Empty the contents of the jar into the sink. Refill the jar with water to the cup mark.
with a spoon. Stir one fourth cup sugar into the water and check the level of the fluid. Do half cup water and one fourth cup sugar equal three fourth cup water. Conclusion. It's an example of a solution. In polyethylene, which is a type of plastic made from polymers, has a unique property. It shrinks when ripped. Requirements: zip top sandwich bag, water, sharpened pencil. Procedure: fill the plastic bag with water. and seal it hold the bag in front of you as quickly as you can stab the pencil through one side of the bag and out the other conclusion some types of molecules form long chains called polymers some polymers are found in natural substances such as rubber and starch whereas others are in manufactured goods such as most plastics polyethylene which is a type of plastic made from polymers has a unique property it shrinks when ripped or when a hole is stabbed in it when you stab the pencil through the plastic bag it tightens around the pencil to seal the hole in to demonstrate the diffusion of molecules requirements pint jar water red food coloring procedure fill the jar almost to the top with water set the jar on a flat surface and add 10 drops of red food coloring without disturbing the jar note what happens during the next 15 minutes the coloring will slowly swirl and spread all by itself conclusion molecules in any state of matter are always moving molecules move fast in liquids than they do in solids and they move even faster in gases in this experiment you can't see the molecules but you can see what happens when food coloring molecules are struck by water molecules the process by which solids liquids or gases mix together is called diffusion because of diffusion the food coloring spreads through the water on its own turning the liquid bright red in to determine the suspension of polymers requirements 4 ounce bottle of white glue 1 and 1/2 cups distilled water 2 medium glass bowls Two spoons, one teaspoon borax powder. Procedure: Mix the entire bottle of glue and half cup distilled water in one bowl. Stir with a spoon. Pour one cup distilled water and one teaspoon borax powder into the second bowl. Stir well with the second spoon. Pour the glue mixture into the borax mixture and stir until you have a thick blob lift the mixture and knead it with your hands until it feels like dough try ripping it pulling it apart slowly conclusion The white glue is made up of polymers. 
that become suspended in water. Before you mix the glue with anything else, these polymers tend to slide over each other. Adding borax to the glue causes the polymers to stop moving and form a sort of meshwork instead. The result is a concentrated suspension, liquid water with lots of tiny solid particles. In this case, they are polymers suspended in it. The solid particles do not fit into the spaces between the water molecules, so they can't dissolve in the liquid. Kobe, would you like to make your hands messy? Yes, why are you? Let's see what a non-Newtonian fluid is. In. To demonstrate properties of non-Newtonian fluid. Requirements. Cornstarch, small bowl, water, spoon. Procedure. Put one fourth cup cornstarch in the bowl. Add six teaspoons water, then stir. If it is too hard to stir, add a little more water. If the mixture gets too watery, add more cornstarch. The mixture should be fluid but very hard to mix. It should feel like thick mud. When you think that you have the right consistency, Scoop out a handful and quickly roll it back and forth between the palms of your hands. It will become firm. Stop rolling and hold the mixture in your hand over the bowl. The goo will drip from your fingers. When you are finished with the experiment, let the mixture become firm. Then put it in the trash. Do not throw it down the sink as it can clog the drain. Conclusion the mixture you created is a non-Newtonian fluid. Fluids have a property called viscosity or resistance to flow. Something with high viscosity like honey flows slowly. Something with low viscosity like water flows quickly. The scientist Sir Isaac Newton found that the viscosity of a fluid can be changed only by rising or lowering its temperature. Non-Newtonian fluids are an exception to that rule. The viscosity of these fluids can be changed by altering the temperature or by applying a force. In this experiment, you apply a force to the fluid by rubbing it between your hands. Hey kids, do you know that an ink is made up of different pigments? A black line is not always a black line. In. To demonstrate the capillary action. Requirements. Scissors, coffee filter, water soluble marking pen, water, glass pot jar, string, tape. Procedure Cut a strip from the coffee filter that is 1 inch wide and almost as tall as the jar. About 2 inches from one end of the strip, make a large dot with the marking pen. Pour an inch of water into the jar. Cut a piece of string, place it across the top of the open jar and tape the ends to the jar. This will be the hanger for the filter strip. Place the filter strip inside the jar with the dot at the bottom end. The end of the paper should be in the water, but the dot should be about an inch above the water level. Tape the top of the strip to the string to hold it in place and watch what happens. 
Conclusion The water seeps up the paper through a process called capillary action. Water molecules move into the spaces between the fibers in the paper, then attract other water molecules to follow. As the water travels upward, it carries the ink along with it. The ink is made up of more than one color or pigment. The colors slowly separate, allowing you to see the individual pigments that make up the ink. The weight of the chemicals used to produce the ink affects how far each pigment seeps up the water. The lighter chemicals travel farthest. Aim. To determine acid base reaction, requirements. Spoon, half cup water, half cup vinegar, half cup dishwashing liquid, two glass pint jars, half cup baking soda, medium size mixing bowl. Procedure Stir the water, vinegar, and dishwashing liquid together in one jar. Put the baking soda in the other jar. Place that jar in the bowl to catch any spillover. Pour the contents of the first jar into the second jar. Stir quickly and watch. Conclusion Baking soda is a base. Vinegar is an acid. When a base and an acid are combined, they create a chemical reaction. In a chemical reaction, molecules interact to create new molecules. Together, the baking soda and vinegar produce carbon dioxide gas. Aim To determine immiscibility of liquids Requirements Water Empty soda bottle with cap from which the label has been removed and you can use 1 litre or 2 litre bottle size blue food colouring bottle of baby oil Procedure Pour water into the soda bottle until it is about 3 quarters full Add 5 to 10 drops of blue food colouring to the water screw the cap on. Shake to mix. Unscrew the cap. Fill the bottle to the rim with baby oil. And screw the cap on. Hold the bottle on its side and gently tip it up and down. The colored water will look like the waves of the ocean. Conclusion this experiment is a demonstration of immiscible liquids. Those liquids that are different from each other and will not mix together. As long as you move the bottle gently, the water and baby will stay separated. Do you know why some things float while others sink? Find out for yourself with this experiment about density. Aim To find the density of a substance. Requirements Rubbing alcohol Glass pine jar Half cup water 2 tablespoon cooking oil Empty 35 mm canister Or small plastic container Food colouring, you can take any colour and an eyedropper. Procedure Pour the alcohol into the jar. Then add the water. The water will sink to the bottom of the jar. Pour the cooking oil into the canister 
or small container. Add 5 drops of food coloring. Put the cap on, then shake hard to mix the oil and food coloring. Using an eyedropper, gently place drops of the oil mixture into the jar of water and alcohol. If the drops sink, add more water to the jar, one tablespoon at a time, until they are suspended about midway in the fluid. Conclusion The density of an object or substance is the amount it weighs in relation to the amount of space it takes up. Water, alcohol and oil have different densities. In this experiment, the water sinks below the alcohol because it is heavier. The drops of oil also sink through the alcohol but float on the water because oil is heavier than alcohol and lighter than water. You may notice that the color slowly seeps out of the oil until the drops are clear. Oil and food coloring are immiscible liquids or liquids that won't really mix together. They appear to be mixed when you shake the canister, but they eventually separate. Where does the color go? It spreads through the water. In. Now let's compare the density of salt water and fresh water. Requirements 2 empty 2 litre soda bottles with no caps. Water at room temperature. 6 teaspoons salt. Red food colouring. 3 by 5 inch card. Duct tape. Procedure Fill both bottles with water. Add the salt. And 10 drops of red food coloring to the first bottle only. Cover the top with your hand. Then shake the bottle to mix the content. Place the 3 by 5 inch card over the top of the first bottle. Hold the cap in place with one hand and flip the bottle over. 4. You may need help with this step. Balance the opening of the first bottle directly over the opening of the second bottle. Wrap duct tape around the necks of the bottle to prevent leaks. Watch the bottles carefully. What happens to the colored water? Conclusion The volume or amount of water in each bottle is the same. If the density of water in each bottle was also the same, for instance, if the water in both bottles was room temperature fresh water, then all the water would weigh the same and it would not shift around. In this experiment, you use fresh water and salt water. Salt water is more dense than fresh water because of the salt. Therefore, it is also heavier. The colored salt water sinks to the bottom. In. Saisha, do you know that the density of air varies with temperature? Let's try an experiment. Requirements 7 ice cubes 1 teaspoon salt Zip top sandwich bag 2 pencils which are sharpened Empty oatmeal box Lid removed Outdoor thermometer and tape Procedure Put the 
ice cubes and salt in the sandwich bag. Then seal the bag. Use one pencil to make a thermometer size hole in the side of the oatmeal box about half inch from the bottom. Insert the thermometer about halfway in. Note the temperature. Set both pencils side by side across the top of the oatmeal box with a small space between them. Then tape them in place. Balance the bag of ice and salt on top of the pencils. Wait 15 minutes. Then read the temperature on the thermometer again. Conclusion Cold air is more dense than warm air, which makes it heavier. In this experiment, the ice chills the air around the bag. Then the cold air sinks to the bottom of the oatmeal box. That is why the temperature is lower when you check the thermometer the second time. Did you all enjoy learning super simple experiments? Yes, yes Maya. Maya. Maya, Vayu, we are very thankful to you for teaching us these experiments. As we carry them in our day-to-day -day life, but we're not aware of them. Don't worry kids, we are here to help you. Any one of you has any more queries? No Maya, no Who are you? you? Bye Maya, bye bye bye, 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 bye. 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 So, kids enjoy your party and hope to meet you soon. Bye. <laughs>